Good morning, good evening to all of you wherever you are. In today's video, I'm going to talk about who is a data analyst. A data analyst is someone who sources, prepares, analyzes data to provide organizations with insights that help them make better business decisions. Simply put, a data analyst helps an organization makes sense of data. Consider a gold jewelry retail chain store, which has retail stores selling gold coins and jewelry across the country. The management looks at the sales data from 2018 to 2022 to realize that the sales were highest from September to December. This insight leads to the strategy that they may not need to offer discounts during this period, that is September to December, because the demand is very strong in these months. At the same time, they might need to take steps to increase sales during the non-peak months, which could be offering promotional discounts during January to August. This was just a simple example of how a data analyst helps an organization by presenting the trend or insight so that they can make better decisions, like in this case. So how does a data analyst reach the stage of identifying trends or drawing insights or enabling an organization to draw insights? And what are the key responsibilities of a data analyst? In order to achieve the task which we are talking about, which is helping an organization draw insights, the data analyst responsibilities start with understanding what is the problem they are trying to solve, which is the key to collecting data. Unless they know what is the problem which is to be solved, they don't know what is the data which needs to be collected. So once with the stakeholders, the business problem or the problem the organization is facing is understood, the data analysts go about collecting data. Data can come from multiple sources, like it can be company data itself, or it can come by surveys from users. It can also come by tracking visitors, or it can also include buying data sets from data collection specialists. Now considering our example of Gold Jewelry Store, the company is looking to increase the sales and optimize the marketing spend. For that, data analysts need to source the data from the company sales. These sales data will be available from individual stores, as you can see on the screen. I have shown you sample data for four stores for this particular retail chain. The next step after collecting the data and identifying the sources is to clean the data. Generally, data contains errors, which could be duplicates. As you can see on the screen, two rows are similar. It could be other errors or it could be outliers. For example, in this case, the date of transaction captured here is outside the range of the financial year ending on 31st March 2022. So cleaning the data can be done in Excel sheet by using Excel functions or it can also be done by software programs. After this, the next step is to model the data. This entails creating and designing the structure of a database. You might choose what data types to store and collect. Establish how data categories are related and how the data appears to the audience. In, the, in our gold jewelry case example, the summarized data has to be stored in such a way that monthly sales trend can be charted for the year 2018 to 2022. The raw data in this case would be store-wise sales data with date, product details and so on. So as you can see on the screen that this data is collected by data analyst. Now this data alone is not going to help in drawing the insight or interpretation. So this data needs to be consolidated or simply put summed up for all the stores for the organization, also known as rolled up. For this type of summary data, structures are created. As you can see on the screen, this is one of the formats in which the summarized data can be presented. The next point or the next responsibility is interpreting data. Interpreting data will involve finding the patterns or trends in the data that can help you answer the question which the business wants an answer to. Trend analysis is one of the ways in which a data analyst can help find information 
which is useful to the business. Trend analysis can be simple or it can be pretty complex. In our example, one can look at the table and see that the sales figures from September to December as well as from January to August telling different stories. This is pretty straightforward, but normally tabular data will not be able to help us in figuring out the trends automatically. So variety of ways can be used like statistical analysis, putting them into a proper chart, a line chart or many other types of chart so that insights can be drawn. Once that is done, then the next responsibility for a data analyst is to present it to the stakeholders. That is communicating the results to the stakeholders, which actually helps the stakeholders in taking decisions based on the problem they want to address. For that, data analysts can create visualization like charts, graphs, writing, write reports, and present information to the stakeholders. In our gold jewelry example, our simple line chart is able to show the trend of peak sales from September to December for the period 2018 to 2020. And most importantly, it also tells that this has been the case for all the years in question. This was one of the ways in which we can understand what does a data analyst do. In real life, the problems can be more complex or problems could be even simpler. Now, let's talk about the skills of a data analyst. What are the skills which you, a data analyst need to succeed? So if you are an aspirant and you want to become a data analyst, look at these very carefully. I can put the skills of a data analyst into two categories. First one is technical, which includes software programming as well as scripting languages to interact with the database. Let's look at them one by one. First one is data related. SQL can handle large sets of data and experts consider it necessary for data analysis. Excel can also be used for data cleaning and organizing. Data analysts should be familiar with data modeling knowledge as well. Next comes programming languages. Learning a statistical programming language like R will definitely be very helpful. Python is an all-rounder and that is also one of the important skills which is required by data analysts. Next comes data visualization under technical skills. Presenting your findings to the stakeholders clearly and compellingly is crucial. People talk about telling a story through data, and that is possible by using visualization techniques. Tableau and Power BI are obvious choices, but there are many others also, like ClickView is also one of the very popular data visualization tools. Then comes knowledge of maths and statistics. A solid grasp is required so that you can analyze the data by using statistical functions like average, minimum, median, mode, and so on. Next category is soft skills. Data analysts work to help a business solve a problem, but that requires continuous interactions with the business. For that, you need to have business knowledge that will allow you to understand the company's values and objectives, and also to be able to understand the problem better. You also need critical thinking in order to ask the most relevant questions identify challenges and propose creative solutions. You need strong communication skills to clearly and accurately convey insights to both the technical and non-technical stakeholders. Finally, you need to have time management and organizational skills as you will most probably work with multiple projects and deadlines on a daily basis. So we have talked about who is a data analyst, what are the skills, I'll end this video by talking about data analyst career and the salary. Data analysts are in high demand. That is a given. And they are likely to remain so in the coming years. But before that, let me give you the premise as to why there is a demand for data analysts. In today's highly competitive business world, corporations are looking to become more efficient and develop better strategies for future growth. This is not possible without analyzing the data and using data to predict what is going to happen in the future. So you need to understand what is your data telling you. Based on that, you can decide what is the next course of action or a, an organization can develop strategies. Data analysts are the professionals who help an organization do all of this. So what does this tell us? This tells us that there is 
very strong likelihood that the demand for data analysts is growing to going to grow now let's look at the demand it is estimated that 97000 data analyst jobs remained unfulfilled annually in india and demand for these employees has created a 45% increase in data analyst jobs in the indian market as per education times which is a sister concern of times of india this data was published in december 2020 now let's look at us data as well according to us bureau of labor statistics the job outlook for operation research analyst this is a job category that they combine it with data analyst is much much better than average from 2021 to 2031 jobs in this field are expected to see 23% growth which is considerably higher than the average of 5% for all the other occupations being a data analyst can create opportunities to move into other careers as well you can also grow into related career for example becoming a data scientist and not to forget the growth and the possibilities which can come in the coming years in the fields of artificial intelligence and machine learning it's a big vast world of data analysis one single video cannot do justice to this so i'm planning to create a series of videos in the coming days hope to see you soon if you like the video please subscribe to our channel thank you so much